Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode two of Whitlings. I caved today and I bought Visual Assist. Uh, if you're not aware, Visual Assist is an excel excellent tool for Visual Studio. I was very tired of the IntelliSense being garbage um, because this project is so huge, but Visual Assist is an excellent tool to help mitigate that uh, issue. It does cost $99, but um, once you buy it, you get one year of updates, and then you have that update for the rest of your life. If you want to pay them more money to get more updates, that's fine. You can do like a year subscription, and it's cheaper, but <clears throat> I decided, you know, it's time to do it. So, let's see. The goal is to do uh, piping input to our camera. So, currently, our camera stays wherever our... Uh, play in editor camera is, and we still have this sort of slide around input, which I would like to get rid of. And that's a couple different options. Um, we got a couple options here, I think. So let's take a look and let's try to find some. Hmm. I believe we're going to need a camera controller. Do, 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 test player controller. Override possess. Attach to. That's not really what we want. Well, let's take a look. Uh, let's make a player controller blueprint. So here's Whitling's core. And this is going to be a Whitlings player controller. Parent, BP Whitlings player controller. Oops. There we go. And so let's see what we got. <clears throat> Allow tick before begin play event. Uh, I don't think we really care about that. Cheat class, gonna ignore that. Um, we will show the mouse cursor for now. We will enable click events. Maybe mouse over, I don't know. I don't think we care about that too much. Uh, left mouse button. We'll do uh, crosshairs for now. Don't really care about replication. And cannot be damaged. Okay, so that seems decent. And here's our player camera manager. Auto manage camera active target. This should be false. So let's link up this. Uh, BP with our game base mode. There we go. Okay, well, we do have our mouse cursor now, so that's good. But I'm trying to figure out where. Uh, where that input is happening from, <clears throat> it might be the camera controller. Let's create a class for that. And let's make sure the name is correct. Play a player camera manager. What does this do? Responsible for managing the camera. Final view properties. Blending from one camera actor to another. I don't really care about that. Um, maintains a view target, which is the primary actor. 
Hmm. I don't know if we really need a camera manager. <clears throat> We're going to be using a single camera. So how do we actually find out what the camera is? Um, we don't want to do any casting. Set find camera component when view target. Um, Interesting. So the next, I guess the goal is to figure out where does this camera come from. Let's take a look at the objects in the world. So it creates this camera actor. Perspective, field of view. Specifies which player controller, if any, should automatically use this camera when the controller is active. <clears throat> so something is spawning this camera actor, and we need to figure out what is doing that. Let's see this one. Main camera view. Everything related to camera you can find in the player camera manager, which is created for each player controller. Okay. So. Okay, so this says it has none. What if we do this here? <clears throat> what if we do self? And we'll do a context sensitive get. Get player camera manager. There we go. Okay. So now we know we can get the camera manager from self. And let's just do this. Um, let's actually do it th that way first. I'm going to be proto or not prototyping, testing most stuff in Blueprint, and then once I'm happy with it, I'll convert it to C++ code, I believe. I am streaming, aren't I? Some dropped frames, not too many, though. Get player camera manager. And then we'll make a new variable for player camera manager.
We'll do a get actor or add actor world rotation. And I believe that um, up is Z. So let's do 45. Uh, can I break this? Yeah. And let's do a multiply. Forty five times delta seconds. So this should, in theory, rotate our camera slowly around the up axis. That's not doing it. Well, I guess this is the camera manager. We actually want the camera here, don't we? Camera shake, NM, no. So we can get the location and rotation. Lots of gets. Um, interesting. C plus UE4 rotate camera. View target is the actor that is currently displayed. On every frame, player camera manager asks the view target by calling its function calc camera to get camera position. Okay. So that's an actor function. <laughs> so we want to not do this. And we'll create a new class, and this is going to be a on that receives input from a controller. So maybe we'll use an AI controller for our rotator. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see how that works. Whitlings. Um, core cube. Uh, 
do it links cube core. Sure, can't ever tick true, super tick. Set up player input, input component. So I don't know if we'll actually want to do this. Find functionality to input. Well, let's um, let's make a blueprint. And we're going to add a cube. And our material, I have a core, I do. No physics, no gravity. Um, collision, character cannot step up onto it. Uh, this is gonna be overlap all, I believe. Or none, I don't, I don't even think this needs a collision. We'll do all of our collision tests with our nodes, I believe. Generate overlap events, no. Okay. And this is going to be... It's not what I want. Now I can override calc camera, right? Become view target. The thing, the player that's controller that is viewing this target. And we'll do an auto possess player here. And we'll possess it with the BP Whitlings player controller. Okay, so it did automatically possess this, and it jumped straight to where the cube is. 
<laughs> F minimal view info out results. So I could set the location and rotation in here. So I'll set the location equal to this get actor location plus vector three. Um, uh, let's put it uh, 100 units out on the X and see if that works. Oh! Vector 3 identifier not found. Oh, that's right. I think it's an F vector. Okay, happy. Dang. Let's see if this function is getting called. That didn't show up. Okay. That makes a little bit of sense. Ooh, but our um, our movement isn't working anymore, and that makes me a little bit happy. Let's go to our cube core and let's try not auto possessing. And then on begin play. get player controller and then we're going to have to cast this bp witlings player controller oh 
Although I guess we don't have to cast it here, right? Um, because we're not using any special data in here. Huh. How do I set the view targets? <sighs> Target is player controller. Is this a private function? Uh, player controller, let's go in here. Oh geez, no, no, oh god, cancel. Go to declaration, control F12. And I'm looking for, um, Set view target with blend. Got to scroll up and find the protection level public. Yeah. So why can't I call set view target? That is public. Oh. So it'll take one second to do this. Uh, let's see if this works. Okay. Get core became view target. Excellent. Let's try it with a thousand here. Huh. Okay. Oh! Hey, hey, I believe that was working.
Hey, cool. Excellent. So we're getting to, we're putting the camera in the right space. We're flying to that spot. I had to do no work, which is so sexy. <laughs> um, so what next? Our cube core. I think let's expose. Some variables. So this is going to be an F vector, or actually I need to um, U property. And what do we want? Um, blueprint read write. Category, um, config, and edit anywhere. And this is going to be our camera offset. I don't believe this should technically be in the cube core, but uh, we'll move it after it's happy. Oh, I didn't mean to compile. Dang it. Oof, this is slow work, buddy. That's okay. Cool, there's our camera offset. So here... And our out result dot rotation is equal to Get inverse, no. I don't really want to make from Euler. There's got to be a UE4 rotator look at. Find look at rotation. So where can we find the find look at rotation? This? No. No. Interesting.
Let's try and do it in here. Kismet Math Library. Where was that? Control comma, Kismet Math Library. Oh, dot INL. That's what I want. Will this make you happy? Too many options. Oh, geez. Okay, so that is UE4, C, find, loop X. You Kismet Math Library. Did I do something silly there? I thought I did that. Oh, I think I was dumb. Hey. And this is a start, which is going to be And the target is going to be this. Whoa. Get actor location. And then this would be out result dot rotation. See if this makes it happy. Oh, what don't you like? Inline doesn't exist. Um, let's try the dot H. Well, let's try commenting this out first. I don't believe it's going to be included everywhere. Yeah. But it was worth a shot. <coughs> oh! Kismet Math Library dot H. Um, 
source private Engine source runtime classes kids met. Oh boy. This is my whittling source. That's not what I want. Do, 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 do. How's time looking? <clears throat> it's okay. Not terribly. Do, 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 camera two. Include Kismet forward slash. Come on. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, buddy. Please use forward slashes instead. That makes sense. <laughs> Um, so let's go to our cube bro here and make our camera offset 500, 500, 500. Ooh, yeah, buddy. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Could it be that simple? Hold on a moment. So we have our cube here and our calc camera um, takes a position <clears throat> and we're giving it this offset and we're telling it to look that way. This is our camera, this eyeball here. 
So if I spin and rotate it, we should be able to tell it to look this direction. So let's look at it from 2D perspective. Here's our camera. <clears throat> I want to get this rotation. And then I want to spin it. And then use the offset again. So we care about the X and Y components because the Unreal X and Y are horizontal plane. I'm going to ignore the Z for now. Or actually what I could do is I could take X, which would be the direction to camera. I could cross that with um, Z, and that would give us our Y. And so we'd have a full rotator. Then we could rotate it by 90 degrees. So, let's see, Whitling's cube core, we've got our camera offset. I'm going to change this to direction. And we'll have a camera offset starting distance. And we do have a setup player input component, but I really don't think I'm going to care too much about that for now. Um, we're not actually piping input to the camera, I swear. So whenever I name an episode, I think I know what I'm going to be doing. And uh, it turns out I rarely do. Or at least that my plan requires other things must be done first, right? So... But we do have our camera doing some stuff, which is really nice. Um, camera offset direction times camera offset starting distance. And I don't know if this should be, uh, we won't worry about that too much.
Okay. Oops. I'll move you down here and you up here. It seems to be happy. So we'll do 111, let it normalize that, offset 500. And let's do a let's do a quick timer in here. Oops. Whoa. Float test rotate timer. Set this to two seconds every tick. Um, test rotate timer minus equals delta time. So if it's less than or equal to zero, test um, rotate offset direction by 90 degrees around the Z world Z axis. Camera offset direction X. So we've got our XY vector. So that's this way. And we've got our world up. So that would be F rotator cross. Uh, maybe it's in U Kismet Math Library. Cross vector vector. So we're crossing X, Y, and up vector. And eventually we're going to make this relative to the camera because the camera can be facing up or, you know, up would be down. You know, we've got the world flip going. So, this returns an F vector. We'll call this X actually, because this is going to be the X. And then this is going to be the Y. How do I how do I look at the next one here? Okay, I just click in here. Pitch yaw roll. Quaternion. Okay. 
X, Y, Z, W, matrix, Let's see, um, UE4, C++, rotator from two vectors. No. No. That's going to be doing the Euler function. Rotation from X vector. Oh, hey, I think that's all we want. Lol. Oh, that's like a look at, right? Make rotation from axes. Okay, so forward is going to be x. Let's call this forward, <laughs> right? <clears throat> um, and then right is going to be And this is right, and then f vector up. <clears throat> and just to be safe, let's normalize this bad boy. And to make sure that this doesn't go haywire, let's do a test rotate timer is equal to 1.5 F. So every 1.5 seconds, theoretically, it should spin 90 degrees. What? Well, it's not doing that at all. Wait a minute. This returns a rotator, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. Yay. <clears throat> Big money. Oh, almost. Kind of.
Uh, I think we're almost out of time. Yeah, let's see. Um, what I'd like to do is... It snapped immediately. And I don't believe that... It should be. Well, I mean, it's doing it, so... It's gotta be. Probably because this count camera, camera, we're just automatically changing this rotate or this location. And it just snapped there. Rotate around an object. That's doom, 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 doom. Yeah, okay, well... We got a little bit closer. Uh, our camera's moving to the spot. It's snapping. Not quite what we want. But I do believe that we could use a lerp or slurp in here to get it to do something. So instead of automatically just snapping the rotation and location, we would calculate that. Well, I guess all we'd have to do is slurp our camera offset direction. <clears throat> uh, let's try and get it back up, right? Um... Maybe just store that up there. Sure. I'm still a little bit goofy. Whoa, hey. Huh. Uh. That's okay. Um, we're getting stuff done. Makes me happy. So let's call it a day. Um, I'm going to change the name of this to... Um, I guess... Initializing the camera. I think that's my plan. So, I hope you all have a good day. And we'll do some more work tomorrow.